Do you have an idea what you might want to do when you're older? I might want to teach maths. Teach maths. Do you like reading at home? What's what kind of books do you read? The Diary of Olympic Kids books. Okay. So do you read every day? Yeah. yeah. So, good afternoon. Um, we are at Hillcrest Primary Academy here in Leeds um, for today's National School Commissioner Roadshow in uh, Lancashire and West Yorkshire. Uh, Hillcrest Primary Academy is part of the Gorse Academies Trust and I'm with uh, Sir John Townsley, who is the CEO of the Gorse Academies Trust. John, what's the difference between being a Chief Executive Officer and the head of a single school? For me, it was a gradual movement. I took on a trust whereby uh, eventually we moved to a two school structure which we stuck with for quite a long time but gradually I've established a position now where we have eight principals working across our trust and I try and make sure we establish a world in which there is the opportunity for them to be individuals, for them to have flair, creativity and originality but at the same time a world in which we have very clear strands of consistency and that I'm able to work with them in a challenging but avuncular role. Many of the multi-academy trusts that I work with place a huge emphasis upon collaboration and I know that you do from what you said this morning. What does collaboration with impact mean for this trust? So for us it's about looking at collaboration in its best examples and in many ways aligning the very best practice with the practice that needs improvement and development and trying to make sure that where practice isn't where it needs to be there's a recognition of that and an honesty about it but that colleagues are confident in coming forward uh, in seeking to be improved and developed because the great majority are. So when we came this morning, one of the great joys of today was walking around the school with uh, your director of primary, who's yeah. also, I think, the, uh, the principal at the school. Right. Talk to me about the development of leadership capacity across the trust. Uh, I have had to recognise that there are many areas of, of our work which others know much more about and are much more expert about than I am. I used to see myself as a post-16 expert, but I don't anymore. And in the same way, primary is also an area mm. that I've learnt so much about in the last four or five years. I look back now and recognise how much we didn't know as secondary academies about what's going on in the primary phase. So for me, it very much is about bringing in great leadership where we recognise that great leadership is most needed. And for us, that's in particular being around primary leadership mm. and development, but also in post-16 too. Thank you. So this has been a fantastic visit today. It's been a privilege thank to you. be here and thank you for your time. Oh, thanks very much, David.